guys, it's Andrew here again today, and today I wanted to show you how to build a simple planetary hub, or gearbox. Now, what a planetary hub or gearbox does is power is put in oh, through this axle here in the middle, and it is transmitted through another gear, or an arrangement of gears that, are, that mesh with this outside ring and it's inside and that creates a gear reduction in this case there are 24 teeth on the inside ring and this is an 8 tooth gear so we'd have a 1 to 3 gear reduction or a 3 to 1 increase in torque so let's get to building it it's fairly simple to start off with you'd want two connectors like this here pin an axle with no friction. You place an eight tooth on the two of them that you have and you're going to pin them in to a piece like so. Now you're going to take three of them in this arrangement here, line them up and you're going to put them on top of a turntable. This turntable is the older style off of set 42009. This is where I received it from. It can be found in a bunch of other sets, but that's the only one that I have at the moment. Preventing me from making another hub for a dump truck or something. I've really gotten into this idea of making a planetary driven system instead of trying to incorporate reduction in the gear train itself and the reduction is right here at the wheel. Now yeah, I could use the uh, some people call them portal axles that oh, all right some people call them portal axles that came with the Unimog set and uh, the Volvo wheel loader I have neither of those sets and those provide a linear variation up and down but those also add height or length to your build. Now the basic principle of the gearbox is done but to lock it in place we have to add another five length axle through here like so I can't go anywhere. Now you're going to do the same thing on this side but now we are going to take an H frame. This is just how I would mount. Oh no, the H frame goes on this side, my bad. And I'm dropping things. We'll put the H frame on last, just to give you a just to give you an idea of how it would be attached. Now let me grab I think I have two five length axles back here. Yeah. Now to seal this off, to keep everything from sliding out of place, when you go to use it, which you can't have gear sliding out of place, you never get torque to the ground, or speed for some of you drag racers out there. So you're going to want to place that there, just like that. There, it's locked. Now, how I put power to a wheel is through this assembly. Mm -hmm. Just take another random axle here. Well, this three length axle will have to do. And put it on like so. Now make sure you have your pins and axles lined up. That can get very confusing if you don't place them correctly. You'll be trying to smash a wheel together with the pins and it just won't go. These can these pulleys can be stubborn sometimes and I I've come to understand that. You just have to take your time and look and make sure they line up properly. I'm always off by four spots every single time. Or two spots I guess really if you do it with math. And I think I'm still off. Yeah, I'm still off somehow. But you don't need the axle. The axle is just there if you really wanted to 
put something on the outside of the wheel when it came out. But that's that. Just place another one over it for de decoration. Now you don't have to add the H-frame. You can create any other style of connector to a chassis or frame that you want. This is just my first idea now. You can see, uh, let me grab two perpendicular connectors. This is what I call them. I have no clue what they are really called in the world of Lego. This here gives a good visualization. All right, we are even right here. Oh, let me set it up so we have a little pin to watch. One, two, three, four. Now that surprises me. Hmm. I guess the rotation is uh, reduced by reduction of four to one. Now, watch that and I'll keep track of the turns on this here. One, two, three. Okay, so it's a reduction of three to one. There's just something fancy that happens when you do, when you set it down like this. I really can't explain why that happened. I don't know how come you get a one to three ratio here and a one to four here. I haven't played around with it too much. But, something cool that you can do with this, you can also use it as a speed increaser. I know that's not the proper name for it, but, but it's the name that I will use. And I've already got a little motor and brick or battery setup made to show how we will be speeding this up by three to one. It was hard to watch in the video there. Can't touch this because it's permanently mounted to the axle. That's gearing up three to one. Yeah. Now, you'd never use a planetary gear for, or hub for gearing up that majorly, I wouldn't think. But you can see here, if we hold this, that L motor is running almost full speed and it's geared down three to one. That's all I have for now, guys. Until next time, remember, you can dream it, you can build it. Bye-bye.